My wife and I chose Statesville as our home because we're passionate about this community. Uh, we grew up here. We've lived a lot of different places over the years, but there's nothing quite like being home. I think Statesville's on the right track to bring in um, a young workforce with Shelly Lee and the Gordons partnering for Smart Metals being a, an amazing, innovative business uh, that is very successful to this point. Um, I, I think we're on the right track with Leadership Statesville uh, creating the maker space at the library. Th that's exactly what we need with Mitchell Community College uh, doing some of the things that they're doing for advanced engineering and advanced manufacturing. I, I think we're on the right path. My leadership traits are really a mix of, of a bunch of different people. Um, most importantly, my parents, uh, my mom especially, she's a very strong, caring individual. And so I got a lot of my traits from her to be independent, to be strong, um, and, and to learn to be caring and loving of other folks. My dad was a business, um, has a very strong business mind, and so he kept me engaged from um, kind of the leadership of, of business perspective. Um, and then I've also been very fortunate to work for some strong leaders um, throughout my career, and I've picked up traits from them and, and been very fortunate to have the opportunity to learn from them as well. Uh, young professionals, we crave opportunities, so as long as there's growing opportunities here, then the young professionals will come and thrive in the community. I chose to live in Statesville for the rare, unique challenge that was presented to me and my family, which was to work for a family, for our family business, and uh, take our family business to the next generation. Uh, I attribute most of everything I know about being a fair and effective leader to lessons that I learned and continue to learn from my father. Uh, the positive influence of both of my parents was a major factor in why my wife and I chose to make Statesville our, our permanent home. Statesville does well by offering a lot of different events and programs for our community, but I also think we could do a better job marketing them. There's a niche group of people that are aware of everything we do, but we could also diversify that and expand and have more people participate. When I think of the word community, Statesville is the first thing that pops to mind. I, I can't say that there is anybody within a, a 60 mile radius that has the feel of downtown Statesville. Not just from growing up here, I, when I walk out, when I go to work, when I go shopping, it, it's everybody is immediately your best friend. You, you're willing to help somebody and from business to business in downtown Statesville, there's many examples of that. But Statesville as a whole is my view of a community. I feel that Statesville could bring and attract a good young workforce um, through incentives, uh, such examples as tax credits that would bring big industry into town and that would help change the culture of Statesville. In order to impact the future of Statesville, I think it's important for myself and my family to remain involved in the community. Um, we have children here, they'll attend local schools, we go to church here, we have a small business here. So I think as long as we continue to stay in the area and remain, um, remain active in the community, we'll have a, a, an impact on Statesville and be able to, to bring some of our friends and some of our families in um, to impact the future as well. Uh, an active downtown, expanded greenway systems, uh, more commercial and retail development, uh, more opportunities to get out and be active in our community, uh, all things that I think we're really working towards right now. Yeah, moving back to Statesville, I, I really didn't have a choice. Uh, my father called me down at East Carolina and said, uh, we're not getting any younger. And being a fourth generation insurance agent, um, you know, I couldn't pick a better place to move back to being as my, my family business is here and I absolutely love Statesville growing up. So I didn't have a choice.
the word community is a unique word in the fact that it's got several meanings. Um, I think it's really what binds us together and what, what you find that, that binds you in common interest, whether it's a community of faith, whether community is the place you live, or whether community is the place you work. I think it's really up for interpretation to each individual person. We have several different communities, as I think about it in my life, of what really keeps me um, engaged with other folks and what keeps me engaged in, in life in general. So I think community just has its own unique term depending on how you view it. Um, and so for me, it's, it's just kind of what binds me to other people and how I stay connected. Um. The best piece of advice I ever received was from a college professor that I adored who said, never ruin an apology with an excuse. And that has always stayed true to me. And anytime I get in trouble, I always think about that. My vision for Statesville in the next 10 years is definitely to see it growing. I see it becoming more like a Greenville, South Carolina, having a really developed downtown area, a lot of shopping options, eating, and a lot more community activities. I think we've got a great start with Friday After Five, Pumpkin Fest, Balloon Fest. So just continuing that and growing, keeping the small town feel alive, but adding more people to our community. Uh, we are the future of this community. Um, getting more people involved, I think, encourages creativity and it encourages passion. Um, and if we want to continue to grow, we need young passion and people kind of at the center moving us forward. My grandmother was in the House of Representatives and she's always been a leader to me. Uh, my grandfather, I never met my grandfather that started our business, but my grandfather has always been a leader. My father has been a leader. My mother has been a strong person in my life, um, but my family for the most part has been my leadership. Community means to me people living and working together for the greater good. I'm a little biased, but I feel like Statesville offers more for its citizens than a lot of neighboring communities. I'm really excited by the progress we've had in the last five years, and I'm really excited to see where we go from here. I chose to live and work in Statesville because this is my hometown. My family's from here. Our family business is based here. And I couldn't imagine being part of any other place that I would feel more involved in a corporate environment versus a hometown feel. I love being part of the community here. It, my impact for the future of Statesville is absolutely staying involved. There, there's no way not to stay involved and impact the future of Statesville. Uh, if we want to keep it going the direction that it is going, we have to stay involved. So my, my future impact in Statesville is, is staying involved. You know, when you think back to the best piece of advice you've ever received, that one's, um, I, I tried to think back to what folks told me when I was little, the kind of advice that my mom gave me. Um, and you know, it's interesting, it really came from my husband a couple years ago, and it's partly for me, and it's partly for what we talked about with our children. Um, and it's important, um, I think it's an important for life lesson for a lot of us. And that piece of advice was no matter what you decide to do, just be the best at it. Um, and, and no matter where life takes you, just make the most of it and be the best at what you decide to do with your life. And I think that's an important lesson that, that I've learned and a great piece of advice to carry through to our children. <laughs> 